What if Earth suddenly started spinning twice as fast? Days and nights would shrink, storms would rage, and gravity might not feel the same anymore. Could we handle a world moving at double speed, or would everything fall apart? Let's break it down. First, let's talk about your weight. If Earth started spinning faster, gravity wouldn't change, but the increased centripetal force would make you slightly lighter, especially near the equator. Right now, someone weighing 104 kilograms at the North Pole would weigh about half a kilogram less at the equator because of the way Earth's current rotation counteracts gravity. But if the planet spun twice as fast, that difference would grow. The outward force from the increased rotation would push you slightly away from the Earth's center, reducing your effective weight even more. Before you get too excited, though, this isn't a free pass to skip the gym. The weight loss would be minimal, a fraction of a kilogram at best. No matter how fast Earth spins, you're still stuck with leg day. Now, let's talk about time. On a faster Earth, days would only last 12 hours. That's just six hours of daylight and six hours of night. A full year would suddenly have 730 days instead of 365. Imagine trying to cram your eight-hour workday into six hours of sunlight. Oh, and say goodbye to your eight-hour sleep cycle. You'd probably have to adapt by sleeping four hours twice a day. Humans might manage, but nocturnal animals like owls and bats? They'd be in trouble. Many species just wouldn't be able to adjust, and some might even face extinction. But things get even wilder when we look at the weather. A faster-spinning Earth would supercharge the atmosphere, making winds stronger and more unpredictable. The Coriolis effect, the force that causes moving air to deflect due to Earth's rotation, would intensify, sending hurricanes into overdrive. These storms wouldn't just be more frequent. They'd be bigger, faster, and deadlier. Coastal cities would be hammered by extreme weather far more often, with stronger winds and heavier rainfall leaving destruction in their wake. With the Earth spinning faster, the centrifugal force would pull even more water toward the equator. Polar regions would lose water, while countries along the equator, like Ecuador, Indonesia, and Brazil, could find themselves completely submerged. At the same time, new islands would rise from the ocean as mountain peaks, like the Andes or Kilimanjaro, poke above the water. The map of the world would look completely different. South America and Africa? Unrecognizable. Life at the equator wouldn't just be wet, it would be deadly. The faster rotation would pump more moisture into the air, creating a dense, suffocating fog and near-constant rain. Combined with the intensified hurricanes, the equator would become one of the most dangerous places on Earth. So, where would you live? Maybe on one of those new mountain islands. Just be prepared to trade your umbrella for a life jacket. And it's not just life on the surface that would suffer. Satellites, which are carefully designed to match Earth's current rotational speed, would lose their alignment entirely. This means GPS systems would stop working, leaving us lost both figuratively and literally. Television broadcasts would become chaotic, so forget about watching your favorite shows. Even military communications would be severely disrupted, creating vulnerabilities that no one would want to deal with. Here's a fun fact. Earth's rotation hasn't always been this slow. Around 4 billion years ago, a single day lasted just 4 hours. By the time dinosaurs roamed the planet, days had stretched to 22 hours. Earth's rotation is still slowing down, thanks to the moon's gravitational pull. It's not much, just 1.7 milliseconds per century, but over billions of years it adds up. Could Earth ever speed up again? Only if it were struck by something massive, like a giant asteroid. But trust me, if that happened, we'd have much bigger problems. In conclusion, a faster spinning Earth would mean shorter days, stronger hurricanes, flooded continents, and chaotic weather. Life as we know it would struggle to survive. But here's the good news. Earth's balance is incredible. From the length of our days to the distribution of water and life, everything is finely tuned to support us. It's a reminder of just how lucky we are to live on this amazing planet. Thanks for spinning through this wild hypothetical with us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more weird and wonderful what-if adventures. Got a crazy idea? Drop it in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious.